Harvey Korman was a beloved actor and comedian who rose to fame in the 60s and 70s. One of his most notable roles was as a regular cast member of The Carol Burnett Show, where he showcased his incredible comedic timing and improvisational skills. However, he didn't have as positive experience on the beloved show as many might assume. Join Facts First as Harvey Korman bashes his experience on The Carol Burnett Show. Early Life Harvey Herschel Korman was born February 15, 1927, in Chicago, Illinois. He grew up in a Jewish family and attended Hebrew school as a child. He showed an early talent for comedy and theater and began performing in local productions while still in high school. He had a passion for performing from a young age and pursued it with fervor, honing his skills in improv comedy and sketch writing. After graduating, Corman enrolled in the Goodman Theater School in Chicago and later joined a touring theater troupe. He eventually made his way to New York and began performing on Broadway. He landed a role in the 1958 musical Bells Are Ringing. Corman got his start in the industry as a performer in musical reviews and off-Broadway shows, but he eventually landed a role on The Danny Kaye Show, which is what led directly to his big break. That came in 1967 when he was cast as a regular performer on The Carol Burnett Show. The sketch comedy show was a huge success and ran for 11 seasons, with Corman becoming one of its most beloved cast members. His chemistry with Carol Burnett was particularly notable, as the two often engaged in hilariously unpredictable ad-libs and banter. Corman played a variety of characters and worked alongside other comedy legends like Burnett, Tim Conway, and Vicki Lawrence. But despite his success on the show, Corman also faced challenges as he was often the target of Burnett's legendary pranks and practical jokes. How Harvey Got Fired The worst thing that happened to Harvey during production was when he got fired. Burnett once fired Corman from the show after he broke character during a sketch and made her laugh uncontrollably. But Corman was eventually rehired in a diminished capacity and went on to become one of the show's most beloved cast members. Not only that, he also got his own spin-off program, though that wasn't nearly as successful as The Carol Burnett Show. The incident involving Harvey's firing occurred as a result of a sketch featuring him as a dentist trying to extract a tooth from Burnett's character. In the middle of the scene, Corman accidentally knocked out one of Burnett's false teeth, causing her to double over in laughter. The moment became an instant classic and is still remembered by fans. Despite the positive reception of the event, it still made Carol mad enough that she didn't want Harvey on her show for the foreseeable future. There are a variety of other sketches that he performed on the series that have stood the test of time. One is The Oldest Man, in which Harvey played a senile and forgetful old-timer who always managed to get into some kind of mishap. In one particularly memorable moment, he gets locked inside a bank vault and spends hours trying to escape using a variety of far-fetched methods, including talking to the money and trying to drill his way out with a comically tiny drill. Another of his most memorable sketches was The Family. This featured Corman as part of a dysfunctional family, with many of his funniest moments coming from improvising silly catchphrases and bizarre mannerisms as he interacted with his fellow cast members. A standout moment saw him playing the father, desperately trying to keep his family under control while dealing with their every absurd demand. The Politician was yet another of Harvey's most memorable sketches. In it, he played a high-strung politician trying to give a speech but constantly hampered by technical difficulties. As the microphone screeched and fell apart around him, Corman's exasperated reactions stole the show. His comedic style was distinguished by his impeccable timing, physical comedy, and ability to play a wide range of characters. He was known for being able to improvise and ad-lib, which allowed him to create hilarious moments on the spot. He also had a talent for playing exasperated characters, constantly struggling to keep up with the chaos around them which added an extra layer of humor to his performances. Compared to other actors of the time, his style was unique in its subtle, understated approach to comedy, which relied more on clever wordplay and facial expressions than broad physical gags. Harvey's Unsuccessful Spinoff After The Carol Burnett Show ended, he had a spinoff show called The Harvey Corman Show. It aired on ABC in 1977. The show centered on Corman's character, with the actor playing a struggling writer trying to balance his home life with his career aspirations. 
Despite Harvey's strong holdover base of fans, the show wasn't well received by viewers or critics. Many criticized the writing and production value, which led to his cancellation after just six episodes. Some also speculated that Corman's departure from The Carol Burnett Show may have contributed to the lack of success of his spinoff. A bad spinoff series wasn't the only thing he gained from his time on The Carol Burnett Show. He also gained a lifelong friend. Harvey Corman and Tim Conway had a close relationship based on their natural chemistry and comedic talents. After they first met, they went on to become good friends and frequent collaborators. According to Corman, he and Conway had a special connection that made their comedic performances truly memorable. They played off each other's strengths and weaknesses in a way that always seemed to leave audiences in stitches. In fact, many of the most iconic sketches from The Carol Burnett Show featured Corman and Conway. There's a charming anecdote from the production of the show that sheds some light on the camaraderie between the two. Harvey was known for his quick wit and hilarious on-set antics. During a sketch, Conway was dressed in a giant elephant costume and Corman was supposed to deliver a serious monologue. But Conway kept ad-libbing and improvising new jokes, causing Corman to break character and burst out laughing. What else did Harvey do? Beyond his success on The Carol Burnett Show, Corman was also a prolific performer in other mediums. He appeared in numerous movies, including several directed by Mel Brooks, such as Blazing Saddles and High Anxiety. Another funny anecdote involves Corman's infamous temper on the set of Blazing Saddles. He became so frustrated with co-star Cleavon Little's constant improvisation that he stormed off set and threatened to quit. Director Mel Brooks had to coax him back and convince him to finish the scene. But generally, Corman was loved by his colleagues and for his sense of humor, plus his ability to make even the toughest days on set a little brighter. In addition to his numerous live-action roles, he also lent his voice to several animated films, including The Flintstones and The Jetsons, the movie. He was also the narrator for several episodes of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? There was another spin-off of The Carol Burnett Show that featured Harvey and ended up having more success than The Harvey Corman Show. This was called Mama's Family. It came on the air in 1983, several years after The Carol Burnett Show had ended. One standout moment from the show saw Corman dressing in drag as the family matriarch, complete with a hilariously over-the-top wig and costume. Throughout his career, Corman received numerous accolades for his work including four Primetime Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe. He was also inducted into the Television Hall of Fame in 2002. Unfortunately, Corman's life was cut short when he passed away May 29, 2008, at age 81. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Harvey Corman was temporarily fired from The Carol Burnett Show and that he got his own unsuccessful spinoff series after the show ended? Let us know in the comments section below.